you're an athlete, you've got bad luck, or you're just plain clumsy, there's a good chance you've had an ankle sprain or two in your life. Lateral ankle sprains are the most common type and result from rolling the ankle inward. This causes the lateral ligaments that support the outer ankle to become stretched and torn. After one of these sprains, the risk of having another one increases. Chronic ankle instability is when the ankle continues to roll and give way. A pesky condition that over time makes the ankle more vulnerable and damaged. The same can happen to the deltoid ligaments which support the inner medial ankle. These ligaments are more dense and stronger than the lateral ligaments, but they can also be torn if the ankle is sprained in a position of external rotation and eversion. A third and less common injury is known as the high ankle sprain. This results from a different mechanism of injury. When the ankle and foot are forcefully rotated, it damages what is known as the syndesmosis, a strong and fibrous joint that is supported by ligaments. Determining the type of sprain and ruling out the possibility of a fracture is the first step in the recovery process. In general, you'll want to control any swelling, use support and protection, and improve range of motion, strength, and especially balance when the time is right. If one of these sprains happens to you, just hold steady and stick to a good rehab plan to get you back on your feet. Thanks for watching. No motion.